for installing primavera we need to open google here the browser i am using is chrome google's chrome okay so in google we need to search e delivery oracle this one e delivery oracle so this is the website from this website we can download primavera p6 before that let me introduce myself my name is arun i am a planning engineer in this session we are going to learn from where to download primavera p6 and how to install it presently primavera can be only installed in windows operating system if you are a mac user first you need to install windows in it then you need to install primavera inside the windows here i am using mac okay so this is mac i already installed windows using this software this parallel desktop so i used this third party software for installing windows in mac so i am using windows 11 pro so inside this windows i am going to install primavera if you are a windows user there is no complication you can directly install primavera using this process now we need to open this website so just click it here we need to create an account for downloading primavera so click create account fill all these form these red stars are mandatory filled so fill all those and then create account now after submitting this form you will get an account activation mail within three days you need to activate your account through the link given in that mail after that your account will be activated after activating your account you need to sign in so in the home page here sign in option is here so click this here we need to enter the username and password here i am signing in with my account and sign in okay so this is the home page sometimes when we sign in a profile detail page will appear there you need to fill your details okay now in this page here we need to search our software p6 client when you type p6 oracle will show the options here this one p6 client select that this is the latest version 21.12 and this is the previous version 20.12 the first one 21 denotes the year and 12 denotes the month so this one is released on december 21 and this one released on december 2020 now instead of p6 client we can also search with this name like primavera p6 professional project management both are same now let's download the latest one 21.12 for that select that that will be added here so click here and click continue now here the first one is the software which we needed primera p6 professional project management and its size is 291.9 second one is documentation file that we don't need so untick that we need only this one okay now from this drop down we need to select our windows bit here only one bit is available 64 in the previous versions two bits were here 32 bit and 64 bit now for this version only 64 bit is available so leave it like that now click continue now this is the terms and conditions we need to read this and agree so click here and continue this is a feedback form if you want to fill you can fill otherwise you can close it by clicking here now these are the files related to our software the second and third one professional database setup and integration we don't need so untick those two we need to download only our main application primora p6 professional application either you can click here for downloading or you can click here this download button i am using this button download when we click that we will get a software we need to open it this is oracle download manager through this manager we can download primavera application we need to set the location here it is going to this folder if we want to change that we can browse here and change it i'm clicking next this is our file total file size is 164.08 so the downloading process is in progress okay it's completed now let's minimize our browser and we need to open this one for that we can click here it will open the folder we don't need this download manager we can close that this is our file now this is a zip file we need to extract the file right click and select extract all this is the location and click extract this is the extracted file open that now again one zip file right click and extract all extract yeah so 
now this is our setup file pc special setup double click now let's close this folder also now this is our first page in our setup process here two options are there typical and advanced and another option is here replace existing version if you have any older versions of primora already installed in your system and if you want to keep that we need to uncheck this one if you want to overwrite your existing primavera then you need to click this i already have another version 20.12 installed in my system i don't want to remove that so i am unchecking this option now let's select advance and click ok when we select advance this window will come two softwares are showing one is dotnet framework this one is essential for installing p6 so we need to install that now this is p6 promotional let's expand this let's expand this and this so here we are installing p6 professional this is our main software then visualizer this is actually like a pdf viewer we can view plans schedules through visualizer we can also view through p6 promotional usually we view all our schedules through main software only p6 promotional visualizer we use very less so if you want visualizer you can install otherwise we can untick it from here now another tool defaultly selected is p6 professional standalone database migration tool these things needed for database operators now what is database in primary actually there are two areas frontend and backend frontend is the software in which we are working backend is the software or area where the data which we input in primera are storing so that is the database part for operating that database part only we need these tools these migration tools and all usually for our work we don't need this so if we want to install it you can keep it otherwise you can untick and install only this primera p6 professional and this dotnet frame so if you select advanced only we can set up like this i am going back normally we select typical okay then we click ok the detail option is not here if we select advanced only we can remove those unwanted applications okay now if you are a first time user you can select typical then click ok then install yes here select this option run database configuration then click ok now here we are setting up the database part from this drop down we need to select p6 the last option p6 pro standalone sqlite then this second option we need to select this second option because we are creating a new database okay this first option we can use if we already have an existing database now in this case we are creating a new database so select the second option then click next here we need to input password here if you want to change we can change this login name and personal name now the password i am entering same as login name admin so password also admin admin currency if you want to change we can change otherwise we can change it later also inside our software click next this is the location where our database is stored if you want to change the location we can change it from here now load sample data if you want some scheduled samples some planned samples you need to check this then proceed if you uncheck this you will not get any sample projects or schedules inside primavera when we open primavera it will be blank now if you are going to learn primavera i suggest not to load the sample data because when you create your own data inside primavera it will mix up with the existing sample data and it will be confusing so if you are going to learn primavera better to avoid this okay so i am avoiding this and save save successfully okay now our database connection is done close this window so we installed primavera now let's open primavera for that let's go to start menu and type here p6 here you can see p6 professional 21 p6 professional 20 this is my previous version of primavera p6 which i was using this is the one which we installed now and these are the supporting files like visualizer this visualizer is for the latest version this one 21 and this one for the old version 20 we need to open this one p6 professional 21 okay so select that click this and password admin so type admin and connect here click this ok button so this is the primavera window 
now here we need to do some initial settings for that go to admin then admin preference here we need to select industry now this one engineering and construction select that and click close click ok so that's done next we need to click this plus button now this is the window for creating a new project here click finish how to create a project and all we will learn detail in our upcoming session now this i am doing for some initial setup now select this project and right click and click open project here go to view then here group and sort then here in this area click here then in keyboard type w so this one wbs select that and click ok these all are one time settings only later you don't need to do all this now again go to project window select our project right click and delete our project yes okay so all our initial settings are done so this is how we install primavera now let's close this for closing primavera either you can go to file and select exit or you can close from here okay so i am closing from here are you sure you want to exit yes here the software which we download is the latest one but in my course i used the version available at that time you can use the latest version for studying this entire course now if you have any doubts relating to this session you can contact me see you in next session